Hi everyone, my name is Jason, and I just started a YouTube account, and I watch videos out there all the time um, when I'm about to make a purchase, uh, specifically in the realm of statues, um, superhero comic related statues. Um, it's a big thing, a lot of collectors out there, you know who you are. Um, but, like I said, I wanted to start a series. Um, it's going to be a real simple, real fast series. Um, that, I mean, watch, we want to try and keep the videos under three minutes. And we're just going to run through a new statue every time. Uh, we're going to go over my first thoughts, my likes, my dislikes. Um, and then in conclusion of you know what I think overall of the piece and what it adds or takes away from um, my collection or yours. Um, okay, so we're just going to uh, jump right in. Um, by the way, my wife Jennifer is doing the filming today. Um, and if she works out, she'll be doing the filming all the time, or we're going to see. Um, all right, so come on in. Um, let's get a close-up. Um, a friend of mine, Frank, in a collector group that I'm in, um, he hooked me up with um, this Bowen Design statue um, set. It's the double set from The Amazing Spider-Man. It's uh, the classic versions of the symbiotic Spider-Man and, of course, the classic, the best superhero ever, Spider-Man. Um, so that's the box. Box is in good shape. Um, there's the details of the classic version of Spider-Man. 13-inch statue, fully painted, sculpted by Randy himself. Um, and this is a very limited series. Uh, run only went to 500. Um, and there we go. That's all four sides. It's a pretty standard bone box. Nothing real special about it. Um, except that it's kind of unique. Um, Bowen didn't do too many of these double statue sets. Um, all right, so it's a box, we're done. We're gonna move on. Right here, we have the classic version of Spider-Man. We'll go ahead and bring that in the middle. And my first thoughts on this statue when I first opened it up um, is, boy, it was dirty. <laughs> it was on display previously and it hadn't been cleaned in a while. But what a beautiful sculpt. Um, Randy really did a great job. Um, this is personally my first Spider-Man that I'm adding to my statue collection. Um, and I think that it's stunning. Um, and I mean, I, I love everything about it from the, the face details. I love that they really stuck with the classic eyes. Um, the paints are really well done. They're, they're just satin enough. Um, that it really shines in the light, but not too much. Um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm really, really happy with it. Um, dislikes, I think that it could have um, honestly been a little bigger. Um, you know, I feel that the museum editions are, a, a, you know, are quite a bit bigger. Um, uh, this is a little bit of a disappointment on size, but... Again, it is the Amazing Spider-Man. And, and honestly, that's my only real dislike about this statue. Um, everything else about it I love. One thing I want to point out about the double um, set um, that's limited to the 500. Um, the bases are custom. They are not the typical bases you get with the standalone Spider-Man or the standalone um, uh, symbiotic version. Um, and this is number 468 and has the silver band on the base. This is number 468 as well. And it has the gold on the base. Now I may have these in the wrong position. I don't know if there's a right way to do it, um, or the wrong statues. I mean, but anyway, let's take a look at Venom or not Venom, but symbiotic spider-man this is before venom um so essentially it's the same sculpture um with some small changes uh obviously the suit is different um there is no um nose indentation here um some of the muscular structures change very little especially where the the, the suit branding is um it's got a flat black top instead of the silver um 
And that's pretty much it. Again, very, very happy with this. This will be my first time owning the symbiotic version of Spider-Man as well. I like um, the metallic paint on this. It there's does a have a, a slight, the yeah, there's a very slight hue of metallic in there. Uh, almost green to me. Like a, like a slight green metallic, but maybe that's just the way it's seeming from my angle. But um, Anyway, beautiful statues, both of them. Let's uh, end with a double pose here, hand to hand. And we'll just do one last wrap around in closing. I think these are a great collection or a great piece to anyone's collection. Um, and the price is pretty good. You can get them from 250 to about 400 right now um, to five, um, which is maybe a little higher than your standard Bowen statue, um, but these are limited to only 500. Um, they also come with a handwritten certificate of authenticity. Um, all right, that's it guys. Um, check, check back, like, subscribe. Um, I'm going to try and do these videos as often as possible every time I get a new piece. Um, and I'm going to try and keep them short. This one ran a little long because I was trying to explain what this is about. Um, hope to keep these under two to three minutes um, on average. Um, anyway, uh, let's leave. Thank you for watching. Let's leave with a close-up on Spider-Man.